I'm Romina and this is Andrea and today we are going to be talking about the differences and similarities between Cuba and Puerto Rico. I'm Cuban and I'm Cuban and Puerto Rican. The most obvious one is the flags. Our flags are the same flags, but they're, the colors are switched. Totally different colors. The Puerto Rican flag, the part with the star is blue, and then the stripes are red and white. The Cuban flag has the blue stripes with the red triangle. Which flag came first? I don't know. No, no one knows. No one knows why yeah. our flags look alike. <laughs> the rich one came first. I mean, you know, not that it's important. It's probably the Cuban one, but it's the poor. I have to defend the Puerto Rican side. <laughs> the second thing is food. Although both countries have very delicious food, I mean, yeah, like, there are some differences. The plates might have like the same name, but they might have different ingredients or different seasoning, and so they'll taste. Different. They're usually using tropical fruits and vegetables, even though the islands are so far away from each other. We're all using like plantains, rice, beans, pineapple, things like that. Yeah, the core of it is the same. It's just like the last minute touches that yeah. will make it Cuban or Puerto Rican. Or the preparation. So for this example, we actually have fufu, which is Cuban, and... And then we have mofongo, which is the Puerto Rican version. And they both sort of look the same, but they're prepared differently. The Cuban version is made by boiling the plantains and then mashing them up and then putting little pieces of pork and like onions and stuff like that. This, we fry the plantains first, then we mash it, and then we put the, um, the pork and the onions and stuff. So my mom actually prepared this for us. It's very it important so that I mention that because if not, we would not have this and then she will never watch any of my videos. Honestly, you can't get anywhere in life without a Cuban mom. <laughs> and my mom's Cuban and I know that for a fact too. For the Puerto Ricans, they like to have their, it's chicken broth. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the broth. And, and so usually they like, they pour it around the plate or they just, they like to combine the two things together. Typically, I'm a very weird Puerto Rican. <laughs> I don't like putting that on there. I like to eat mofongo with ketchup. Okay, she puts ketchup on everything. I love so. it. We're gonna try this right here. This is turning into a culinary adventure. They refuse to give me ketchup. I just want to make that clear. Oh no, I don't even have ketchup in this house. One, two, three. I'm so happy. <laughs> I also really want ketchup. I'm assuming they taste the same. It's the same ingredients. Okay, let's switch. Oh, it tastes really different. Yeah, it tastes really different. I've never had fufu before because my parents tend to make more Puerto Rican dishes and they do Cuban. That's literally what we were explaining. Same ingredients, but the preparation changes it. I think I like this way more than the mofongo. The third thing is language. Although in Puerto Rico and Cuba, Mainly everybody speaks Spanish. Sort of might sound similar to like a foreign ear, but there are quite a lot of differences. Yes, yeah, there are words that can be the same word, but then it can be insulting to Cubans or it can be insulting to Puerto Ricans. The Cubans will eat their R's and their S's, sometimes even their their D's. Yeah. I mean like it's a it's very uh breathy. My accent goes in and out. It's sometimes Cuban and then sometimes Puerto Rican, depending. When they get really excited, they just start mumbling stuff. Yeah. And the younger generations are getting way more, more, more thick with it. For Puerto Ricans, we say our R's pretty crisp. I grew up saying this little thing to learn how to roll my R's as a kid. I would say, eres con eres cigar. <laughs> but it's, it's our accents that are super different. There's also a lot of differences in our vocabulary. So we'll have different words for the same thing. In Cuba, we'll say frijoles for beans. In Puerto Rico, they say habituel habituelas. Yeah. I don't use that word. That's, <laughs> I use frijoles. I just learned this, my mom taught me this. There's the word bicho. And so for Cubans, bicho is a little bug. And for Puerto Ricans, I don't know the English translation, but bicho is a curse word. You can't say bicho there. Yeah, my, I asked my mom and she doesn't know the translation for it in English. <laughs> she just tells me not to say it around Puerto Ricans, but 
My mom uses it for bug. So you know the little bananas, like the little tiny, the little, the little ones, like the baby bananas? In Cuban, we say platanito, right? Like plantains, it's, just, it's platanito, because it's like, a, it's a small banana. And then in Puerto Rican, they actually say guineo. Which... I, I don't say either of those, because I just say platano. I don't even say platanito. For orange juice, a lot of Cubans will say jugo de naranja. And then Puerto Ricans, I don't know if it's an island thing or if it's a New York Rican thing, but I grew up saying jugo de china. Oh, but, wait. oh no. I, I really don't know. Like <laughs> Chinese? They're Chinese? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. In Cuba, we say cake. But in Puerto Rico, they usually use the word bizcocho. My grandma uses bizcocho for like fancy cakes. We'll call them pastelitos if they're like smaller cakes. Cubans, I think, mainly use pastelitos for like yeah. um, pastries. <laughs> she wrote down a list and I can't read her handwriting. <laughs> it's in all capital letters. That is the lowercase c. I don't know. <laughs> so Cubans will say, uh, ay Dios mio when something happens and Puerto Ricans use it too but mostly we say ay bendito <laughs> which is really like a poor baby and sometimes we even shorten bendito we'll say ay dito, dito, ay dito. and we'll caress your face dito. in Cuba we say guajiro which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about if you know anything about Cuba the equivalent of that in Puerto Rico is jibarro usually when people call little kids um, not by their name, but just calling them a kid. You'll say, Cubans will say chico or chica. And a lot of people use that in other countries as well. But Puerto Ricans specifically will use uh, nena and nene. I like it better than saying chico and chica. Cause yeah. I feel like chico and chica it makes me think of the movies when like white people are like, hey chico, I hate it. My mom's siblings, I will say tia and tio. Mm -hmm. And then Puerto Ricans, we, we will say tia and tio, but we say titi for aunt. Oh. No, I've never heard of that before. And every time I talk to um, my friend who's Mexican, I say titi, he thinks I'm saying like titty. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not. So enough of our differences because we are all a happy family here <laughs> in the Caribbean. We are now going to talk about the things that we have in common and that bring us together. The first of those things is music. Our music is so mixed with our indigenous culture and then our Afro Cubans and Puerto Ricans and then Europeans and they sound pretty much the same they use a lot of the same like instruments the same kind of beats and you know like the melodies it kind of follows the same sort of formula I guess if you want to call it like that Puerto Rico and Cuba birth very talented musicians so it's something that just mm -hmm. it's sort of famously known around the world. Yeah. We're also kind of known for like reggaeton music. I can't even do the beat. That stereotypical like yeah. sound beat. And we know it's like annoying because all the songs sound the same. But the thing is when you're from both of these countries, you love it and you can't figure out why. I equate it as being the heartbeat of our island. And that's a big thing with Cubans and Puerto Ricans. We love our island yeah. so much and our music reflects that. I mean, I'm kind of the opposite. I don't like. I like some. <laughs> I kind of. I like the more classical okay. um, Cuban music. That's you know just ones that you'll see the old guys playing on the side yeah. of the street. Stuff by Celia Cruz. I like Mark Anthony's stuff. Except Mark Anthony's a crybaby. <laughs> the old stuff influenced our newer. Um, artist. Even though Pitbull's not everyone's favorite artist, you can tell he's so influenced by Celia Cruz. She influenced everybody. Another similarity, if you haven't noticed by now, we both talk with our hands. Okay. Like, I noticed that while you were talking because we both have been doing this and that's a very big thing for us in both countries. That brings us into the next similarity, which is our ancestry. So our ancestry in both islands um, European nations colonized both islands, so a lot of that is colonization blood. Then we have Afro-Cubans, Afro-Puerto Ricans, we have um, Asian Cubans. Um, yep. Not so many Asian Puerto Ricans, at least I've seen, there could be. My Cuban side, my mom's originally from the Canary Islands, which is technically Spain, but it's off the coast of Africa. And then my dad, his mother has 
European ancestry, but his dad has Taino blood, which is the indigenous people in Puerto Rico, but Tainos are also in Cuba and I think the Dominican Republic. Another thing is there's a lot of Jewish people in Cuba. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I believe that the first synagogue of the Western world was actually in Cuba. Was I had I have Cuba? no idea about that. I, oh. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm actually uh, part Jewish um, okay. and European. I want to look that up now because I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, have you never heard of a Juban? No. Oh well, now you know Juban, Cuban, Jewish. I think Spain pretty much held on to Cuba the most. In Puerto Rico, Spain did hold on to it for a while, but France held on to it yeah. for a long time. My last name is uh, technically French, but it doesn't exist in the French language anymore. Another obvious similarity between Cuba and Puerto Rico is that they are both islands and they're both in the Caribbean. They are very island-ish in their culture and their yeah. way of being and their everyday life. So their climates are actually very similar. It's very humid and it can get very hot. Both Cuba and Puerto Rico have rainforests. Yeah, I mean, we have waterfalls and all that stuff. Do you, does Puerto Rico have? Yeah, El Yunque has waterfalls and everything. Both Puerto Rico and Cuba have a huge passion for both baseball and boxing. For my family, we're very big baseball fans, like New York Ricans. They're either huge Yankee fans, or they're smart, like my family, and they're huge Mets fans. Oh boy. So <laughs> I have no part of, I have no part of, for me it was the opposite. Since I was little, we'd watch like the boxing matches. I actually never went to a baseball game until last year, which was my first time going to a baseball game. That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up to let me know. Give me an upvote if you are on VidMe. And before you click out of this video, be sure to go over to Andrea's channel where we are going to be doing another video over there. You gotta go over there to see what it is that we're gonna do. The link for her channel is gonna be in the description down below, so definitely go check it out and subscribe if you haven't already because I make a whole bunch of videos every single week and subscribe to Andrea as well. For now, we're gonna go. So I will see you when I see you. Bye. Hey, wait, I want a flag too. That's not possible. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you just activated my Siri. The power of the Reekins. Wait. <laughs>